It's a land of superb natural scenery. Less than 2% are urbanized. The denim for your blue jeans originally comes from there. It's the world's leading producer of jade, and with an estimated median age of 20 years among the youngest countries in the Western Hemisphere. It has the largest collection of UNESCO heritage sites in Latin America and is the former cultural hub of the Mayan civilization. More than 50% of its population are direct descendants of the Maya and still speak 21 Mayan dialects. They are also strong people. A legend says Mayan babies don't cry, they are all born warriors. And if they do cry, worried dolls carry off all their worries. The Mayan heritage is expressed in colorful textiles and fabrics. They represent its fantastic landscape and stories and combine its past and present with detail and magnificence. In Central America's most visited country, you find the world's first mixed UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Tikal National Park, that hosts the largest excavated Mayan site. It's located in a rainforest and comes alive in the evening with the iconic sounds of the Hola Monkey. Located between Mexico, Belize, El Salvador and Honduras, you find three types of terrain. Volcanic Central Highlands, Pacific Lowlands and Northern Plains of Jungle. Its Maya Biosphere Reserve is the second largest forest in Central America, in which you find five national parks, each filled with crocodiles, monkeys, tropical birds and more. Despite its small size, it is home to 33 volcanoes, with the Chajomolco being the highest peak in Central America. It hosts 250 wetlands, 100 rivers, 61 lagoons and 5 lakes. The deepest lake in Central America and according to Aldous Huxley, the most beautiful one in the world is Lake Atitlan and also the country's best spot to watch the sunset. In Central America's largest economy, the official currency is Quetzal. Like its second largest city, Quetzaltenango, its name comes from its beautiful but very rare tropical national bird, whose tail feathers the ancient Maya used as a currency. With the fastest population growth in the Western Hemisphere during the 20th century, it is now Central America's most populous country, housing about 60 million people and 220,000 immigrants from El Salvador, South Korea, Mexico, Germany and the USA. In the wider urban area of its capital live about one-third of all people. That's why transportation, communication, business, politics and the most relevant urban activities take place there. Its first inhabitants arrived in 18,000 before Christ. Still today you find about 200 Mayan sites that date from up to 350 before Christ and also the so-called Athens of the Mayan world. Located in the middle of three volcanoes you find its former capital Antigua, a rebuilt UNESCO World Heritage Site and the most popular place to visit. Its vivid and often chaotic market offers an open-air area full of fruits, vegetables, handmade crafts and poultry. Further west, in Quirigua, you find the largest stele ever discovered in the Mayan world. It is nine standing stone slabs covered in drawings or carved into shapes and up to 10 meters tall. Agriculture plays a big role here and coffee, sugar and bananas is what they sell most. Also, the Maya invented chocolate here first. However, its contemporary cuisine is based around tamales, chilies, corn and beans and is home to many native fruits like caimito, mame sapote, jocote and many others. Every year on the Day of the Dead, they celebrate with fiambre, a traditional salad dish made from over 50 ingredients. Wanna give it a try? Come with us. Explore the Mayan heart of Central America, its Spanish colonial capital, the lively native market of Chichicastenango, the incredible ancient roots of Tikal and the adventurous volcanoes, the wild jungles and relaxing lakes. The best architecture in the region, Central America's most delicious cuisine and the very best landscapes are waiting for you. Come to Guatemala, the land of the many trees and eternal spring. Come on board Guatemala. More information on beyondboard.org or by email info at beyondboard.org.